As we may have mentioned, it is Friday, a perfect time to head to the zoo. Zoo Montana, that is. And that's where Lewis and our wildlife correspondent, Tanner Saul, met up with Jeff for another wild time. Well, good morning, Jeff. How's it going again, yeah. man? Hey. Oh, great campaign. Beautiful day. Warmer temps. It's all good. All right. So, Jeff, I'm interested who we're getting introduced to today because normally I feel like you're running around, you're outside somewhere. It looks like you're just sitting at a desk, maybe, or somewhere. Yeah. So, what's going <laughs> on? I am. Jeff? I'm, I'm kind of just chilling today. You know, I had to get a little fancy. I got a fancy thing going on today. So, okay, like I thought I'd, I'd keep it not getting dirty, but I thought I'd show you guys this cool looking thing. Do you see this thing? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, get it definition of fancy. <laughs> <laughs> wait, <laughs> look at that, Jeff. W wait, hold on. Okay, what is this thing? All right, so I'm not fooling you. It's not a stick. It's actually a live insect. It's a walking stick called a Vietnamese walking stick. Look at that thing. It looks like it's a tree limb walking on my hand. It's okay, so, so Jeff, Jeff, I've only seen these things in the movies. Like I've seen these things like in the movies a couple times before. Now, where do we have? You said this is a Vietnamese walking stick. So do we have these in the U.S. then? So we, we do have them in the U.S. They're not going to be quite this big. They're a little bit smaller than this. It's the northern walking stick. You shouldn't see them here in Montana. That doesn't mean they're not going to be found here. Unfortunately, okay. sometimes they're brought over. But they, they're not going to survive real well here. But in the eastern part of the U.S., you bet. But the Vietnamese, they're about a medium size. They're not as big as some of those giant walking sticks you may have seen. But nonetheless, they are just an amazingly cool animal. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So uh, they're stick bugs. Do they eat sticks too? <laughs> <laughs> so they've got they've got these incredible little uh, almost like teeth like palp things on the front of their mouth. You can't really see it on this guy, but they actually love them to chew leaves. So they're a leaf eater. That's going to be the main part of their diet. But, but get this. These guys are so good at camouflaging that when they're sitting on a stick, even on a non breezy day, they'll sway back and forth to look like a, a, a stick swaying in the wind how cool is that God, that so is awesome. very cool now jeff a question for you do those things bite because i feel like you could play a really sweet prank on somebody like you're walking around you're just like hey what's that just kind of like drop it down the shirt there and, like, and then you get like <laughs> such a sweet reaction man yeah, unfortunately, they don't bite. Or maybe fortunately for the person you can throw down their <laughs> uh, their back. I don't know. But no, they're not They're not known to bite. Not going to worry about them. But I just think they are spectacular. And guys, this is the craziest thing. The ladies out there are going to like this. They don't need boys in the world. They actually what? reproduce through parthogenesis, which basically means they clone themselves. What? And so what this young lady will do is she'll toss a bunch of eggs down in the ground. Those eggs will hatch without being fertilized so no. it's actually quite rare if not impossible to find a male of the species they don't need us boys they kick us what? out but man there, even they... with that there are some males still possibly there are some males out there surprisingly enough yeah. but i oh it, it would be a matter of time that, that they're not going to be needed i mean what's the point of having a male if you don't if you don't need them throw them out and get this exactly. <laughs> Their eggs also, they also look like uh, seeds. And so predators don't eat their eggs very often because they think it's a seed and not a, a tasty treat. Wow, this is such an interesting creature. Seriously, Jeff, I could not believe that you brought this with us today. You dressed up all fancy and then you showed us that. That is amazing. Uh, we got to go here, Jeff. But as always, thanks for joining us this week. Always a pleasure, guys. We'll see you at the zoo real soon. See you, Jeff.